She's getting ready to go out somewhere. So, you know, I wanted to give y'all all this bone straight realness real quick. So, anyways. <laughs> I, wait, should I do a, I'm, I'm trying to figure out should I do a disclaimer or not. Because I know I be cussing my ass off. So, I know I'm not for everybody. I just want to say that. I am not for everybody. You will not like this video if you don't like cursing words and shit. So I'm not going to do my regular disclaimer right now because it's just too, you know, too much, you know. And so, anyways, I'm going to still do it now. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm going to still do my Cigarette Diaries um, disclaimer. But on this video, it's just too much for this video because I got to get y'all some realness real quick. Um, So, I was talking to this person, right? <laughs> I'm not even going to get into the details of, like, our conversation and stuff. But, um, I'm just going to say that some people can't take delivery, like, my delivery, well. Like, I know I'm not for everybody. I am not for everybody. And everybody ain't for me, you know. I'm just going to start out by saying that. There's some people that's not for me. So, some people don't like how I deliver my words to them. They be thinking it's shade all of a sudden. Like, I hate, I mean, I love to say these new lingos and stuff, but I hate to for you know, the people that forget that it's not shade when it's realness. Like, it's not fucking shade when a person is, like, really telling you the truth. And, you know, I don't know, like, because some stuff do be shade and stuff, but... I'm not that shady type. I'm just that real type. I'm that person that just don't hold back. I'm blood fucking raw. When you meet me, you will understand me more. Like, in person. Like, it's hard to sit up here and, you know, get the impression that I'm just this old getified ass girl that has a uh, low vocabulary probably and just don't have them all in no sense and she just ratchet as fuck with no life and shit you get all of that within like 15 minutes or however long my video is but you don't know me in person that's all you get of what i'm giving you so you get that impression some people have that first impression some people don't i'm just saying so i know that i'm not for everybody but everybody just can't you know, take my delivery. Not even everybody, just some people can't take my delivery. And I realize it. And it's kind of hard because, again, I said it in the past video. I am from Miami. I'm from Miami, Florida. And the way my whole persona is, is Miami. That's the only way I can explain it. All this right here is a big... Sexy Chocolate 305. That's that's it right here. You are looking at Miami. So, I'm living in Central Florida now. I'm living in Orlando. So, Orlando is Orlando. Orlando is 407. Orlando is, you know, lame to me. You know, some parts. Some parts is good. Don't get me wrong. But, it's just not home. It's just not where I'm from. I'm not used to everybody questioning if I'm being shady or questioning if I'm, you know, just this bitch or, you know, because I come off wrong to them, but I don't even try to come off. Like, I don't even, it's like, I'm not even trying to, this is me. So, the problem that you have with me, I'm not trying to give you that problem. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm the type of person that just speak how she feels. That's how my mom raised me and all of her kids. Like, everybody that's, you know, from this area that met my whole family, they would say that we're different from the people that they know and they know that we're not from Orlando. We're from somewhere else. So, you know, I'm from Miami, they're from Orlando. So what I'm trying to say is they're not taking me as well as the Miami people took me because I that's where I'm from, you know, and we're all alike somewhat. We understand each other. We understand the realness and stuff. And you know, 
Here in Orlando, I realize a lot of dudes that I've been talking to and been going out on dates with and just hanging with, blowing some good trees with, you know, they are more secretive and I can't even say it's fake because that's how they are, you know, that's how Orlando guys are to me, that's like, it's not just one that I see that has the same, you know, same thing that's characteristic that's going on, it's all of them having the same characteristic, which is basically they're lame and they're fake, kind of. They're secretive. Like, they're not as real and truthful. They would lie to you before they tell you the truth. They're the type that will just hold everything in. And then when you, like, when, I can't say you, but when me, coming from 305, presented to them that I clocked that, like, haha, I got your ass and shit. They think that I'm just, like, the meanest person on earth. Like, damn, I don't like how you talk to me. You are so disrespectful. And I don't even try to be. You know what I'm saying? It's just that these girls here in Orlando probably hold, you know, back. They ain't as, you know, vocal as I, <laughs> I am. So, it's kind of hard to explain, y'all. It's kind of hard to explain for me to just get in here and just, you know, throw it in y'all face just like that. But I just feel like I'm in the twilight zone dating here in Orlando. I feel like I am in the twilight zone because every guy is, they have the same characteristics, but they're also different in their own unique way, you know, because some of them are like, are like lying to themselves. They really think they are good men and they're not good men at all. And then the first thing, like this one guy, for instance, he is a huge liar and he know he lied. He even said, I know I lie. I'm trying to work on me, you know, telling the truth and stuff like that. This nigga, y'all, he is so fucking delusional that he says that because I told him I don't want to talk to him no more. This is what he tells me that, oh, it's okay. I'm a good man and somebody else is going to want me or whatever. And I was like. You're not a good man. Like, what makes you think? Who told you you was a good man? Somebody got to tell you you're a good man before you even claim, before you even, you know, grasp the fact that you think that you're a good man. Somebody has to tell you that. You, I mean, of course, I like to tell myself I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful. But it feels good when somebody else tells me I'm beautiful. It's more believable. So somebody need to tell you that you're a, a good man in order for you to even say out of your mouth, you're a good man. And I know ain't nobody telling you you're a good man. Because this man lied about his child, y'all. He don't even take care of his child. He had made an excuse one day. We had a date. He um, canceled the date and said that he had to go to the hospital for his son. Come to find out. This nigga haven't seen his son in two years. Now, how I know that is a girl that he used to date... And she dated him, dated for him, him for a whole year. Told me their tease when they were together, and all the shit that he did when they was together. And she still hang around his family, like his family love her. She go to picnics and shit like that. So she told me that this man haven't seen his son in years. He used to use the same excuses that he was giving me with her, and he haven't seen his son in years. So he canceled a date with me and said his son was in the hospital and he lied on his own fucking child. So when I presented it to him, he was like, okay, I lied. He owned up to the lie. Okay, I lied about it, blah, blah, blah. But then he says he a good fucking man. Well, nigga, bitch. I'm like, what the fuck? If I'm the only one that sees that you're delusional, you need to wake up. You, like, really need to wake up. Because I'm seeing how you are, and I know this is you. So, how come you don't know this you? How come you don't know that you're not a good man? Like, and then when I tell it to him, he say I'm so disrespectful and shit. And I guess these girls in Orange County... They boost this nigga ego probably, you know. I don't know if the, you know, if, I, I, I don't know, you know. I don't know, I can't, I can't even fathom what these girls here in 407 do. I don't know what they do because I don't want to offend nobody in 407. But some of them are not as vocal 
as the females that is from Miami. And now I live in Central Florida and it's kind of hard to blend in. And I don't want to blend in. I don't want to blend in with you bitches. Please believe. But it's kind of hard to, you know, for a person to take me in. When you're getting ready to date somebody... You're dating them to find out what their, their individual characteristics are, what their personality lies on. Because some people, when you meet them, you're not meeting the real them. You're meeting the one that they want to impress you with. And then, like, as time goes on, you see that they're not that person that they pretend to be. So, you're not re meeting the real person. And that's dating a person you're getting to learn a person so when I learned how he was I said I want to drop him and all of a sudden he spazzed out I'm disrespectful and you know it was just so much and I just I just the thing is I heard this before from other Orange County dudes that I'm disrespectful and and, and I don't even be disrespectful maybe it's my delivery I don't know but I try not to be disrespectful, but I know that everybody can't take me. They can't take my honesty. They can't take my delivery. They just can't take my rawness. And it's hard. <laughs> it's hard, y'all. It is real hard. But <sighs> pause for the calls, y'all. Pause for the calls. I'm still dating, though. I'm still dating guys and I'm still realizing because at first it was like weird that all of these different dudes that I date has the same trait and now I'm realizing like I'm realizing and telling myself the truth that that's just how they are that's just how these guys are and I just want to find somebody to learn how I am and to accept my realness and accept the fact that you know not only take ownership when they're wrong but it just accept the fact that I was able to clock it and I'm not that type of chick that you can just you know throw all of your you know falseness to and I clock the falseness and then I give you the truth and you don't get offended by it you own up to the fact that yeah you got me you know what I'm saying like you know, haha, -ha, you got me and shit like that. I wish I could find somebody like that, but it's hard because when you meet a person and they do something the first time to piss you off, that's like break upable. <laughs> that ain't even a word, but do something that's break upable, like talk to another chick or stuff, something. If that person is so easy to let go, and break up with them for maybe that's not the one you know cuz I I've been like this here I let people I try to at least let people get to know me and as I grow I'm changing with every different relationship I'm changing my methods with every not even relationship just friendship I'm just you know I, just trying to find a friend to you know get to know me we can hang out we can try to just you know, make it a beginning of a lifetime friendship. And it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Like, I did find one, but that was a lot. That was a lot, too. But I hate to get on here and just, like, you know, give all of y'all this tea just like that, you know. Because I feel like <clears throat> this is, like, my little outlet I can get on here and just you know talk to strangers because sometimes it's hard I mean I know a lot of y'all you know being that I've been on YouTube for so long then I think it's what been six years if I'm not mistaken six years so I gained a little relationships with some of y'all but you know it's still some of y'all are strangers so it's just so easy to get on here and just lay it out on y'all because I be wanting to like Ugh. And then I, I like the fact that people can agree with me and people can be like, I understand where you're coming from and everything like that. Because I be like, I know I'm not the only one, bitch. I know I'm not the only motherfucker one that's going through this type of shit. And it's just hard. I I, I even told my sister the other day because she's 21. Y'all know the twin, Chantel. I told her the other day that I don't even think I want to even be in a relationship because... 
all my life I've been aiming for trying to be in a relationship. Trying to be in a relationship. I just want to have a friendship. And I know a friendship is a relationship too. But I just want to have a friendship. Let's not let sex be the first thing on our mind. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I'm a cute big girl. You know, I know I'm like so, you know, cute. And, I, and my differentness to these Orange County dudes is attracting them to me. So, they see I'm different. Because some of them, one of them, you label me crazy. And I know I'm not crazy. Like, I can admit that when I am crazy, I have a reason to be. <laughs> because I'm not, like, crazy off rip. I'm not crazy off rip. I can admit because every woman has that crazy side. You know, that bipolar side. And it's only because it's been provoked by lies, cheating, and all of this false shit that these niggas be doing. And these bitches too. These bitches too. Because y'all know I go both ways. But I've never been, i only been in a relationship with one girl. But I just see how these bitches are too. These bitches is worse, y'all. These bitches is worse than these niggas. These bitches is worse than these niggas. That's the reason why I know for a fact I can't be in a relationship with no woman. I can't do it. I can't do it because I never, all this here, you know, cuteness and shit started coming out in my early 20s. Back then, I, I was more looking manny, butchy, like, you know what I'm saying? So, I didn't have this feminine side to me until I got older and just realized that, you know, girl. Girl, you know what I'm saying? Why hide? You know what I'm saying? So, so now that I'm older, I'm more feminine-like, but I'm not as feminine as these bitches. These hoes are bitches. They thoughts. They everything that you can think of. Like, I understand where these niggas be coming from. I understand the reason why they came up with the name, bitch. Why they wanted to compare the female dog to humans, female humans. It's because that is true. These hoes will fuck anything. Some of these hoes you would think is gay and don't take dick. I'm talking about a bitch that look like a strong ass nigga. Like she been doing push ups with her neck. Bitch. And she would end up praying it out of the blue bitch. <laughs> These bitches is worse. So these niggas and these bitches, boy, I'm just like, ooh. Whew. You know? Can't be with no bitch. I can't do it. I can't be with no bitch. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I would get some bitch here and there. But it hasn't been a long time. It has been like maybe, I think, three years. Three years that I dealt with a female as far as getting some oral pleasure from. Because I'm like... Uh, with these hoes and uh, with these niggas. So, I just want a friend. And I just want a person to court me, you know. Like my granddaddy used to say. My granddaddy used to be like, I know y'all ain't out there courting. Courting, y'all. I'm out there courting. So, <sighs> it's hard. That's all, <laughs> that's all I want to say. It is fucking hard to be dating. In a city that you're not from. Because. I'm going to get out of y'all ear y'all. <laughs> I done gave y'all all my little dating problems for the day. I'm going to go out. I'm going to just, you know, slay. You know, this makeup looking shit. And shout out to this unit. Bitch, I got the name of this unit. I had a blow dry her. She is old as fuck. I tell you that. This wig is like maybe four years old. Four years old. And I had to bowl dry her again because she do like frizz up real quick. But she was like an afro kinky wig. I don't remember the name of this unit. But I did a video on this unit and then I blow dried her because she was like real poofy and shit. But um, yeah. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Bye. I, 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 I. Not real hard.